Hello, Pisces. How are the Pisces doing out there? Hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from Beep Soul Tarot. We are going to be doing your uh, monthly read for June 2023. However, this is a timeless read. So I am doing this in a format that is 30 days from today, whenever you're viewing this, moving forward. So even if it's past June 2023, even if it's in 2024, this video is a uh, timeless, okay? Um, let's see, it is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you, so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate for you, you may wanna check the other placements in your chart as that may give you, uh, those resonate more sometimes. That may give you more information in your situation. If this does resonate or parts of it resonate, you can still check the other placements in your chart as I can give you, it's like a full body reading. You can get a little information from each one. <clears throat> for example, Venus is for love. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, yeah, so this if, this if you do like these and it resonates, I would appreciate if you smash that like button. And if you haven't already, join the, Subscribe and join the tribe because I will be doing other readings. I'll be doing a, uh, a full moon reading. I do moon readings and I do love readings, which are coming up soon. And I'll uh, be doing um, some collective reads in there, book of cards, all kinds of stuff. So, And then you can get notifications of when I upload. And then you can pick and choose. If you just want to watch Pisces, just watch Pisces stuff. If you'd like to see the other stuff, you can watch those too. You can pick and choose, okay? And sometimes you can, you know, get a video at another point in your life. And it's like, well, when I first was watching Deep Soul. I was really not into that, but now it's kind of important in my life. All right, let's get going. Let me get my shuffle after I babbled on there. Uh, these are not gender specific. So if, I, so if I refer to any of the cards as he or she, it is only masculine, feminine energies within the, in the card and the energies, okay, that are surrounding it. So, uh, or, you know, the picture. So I don't want anyone to think, okay, it's gender, it's not gender specific. And as far as the love card that I will be pulling at the end of the video, so stick around till the end so you can get all the info. Uh, that is not gender specific either, so it can be same sex couples, okay? Let's get going, Pisces. Let's get this rolling. I just saw the devil card and the king of wands. So if you're dealing with some sort of negative energy, you can overcome. Just going to say that. I'm seeing the color pink. And I just heard pretty in pink. I don't know. Maybe you're wearing pink. Maybe you like pink. Maybe you're going to buy something pink. Maybe your room is pink. And again, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Maybe you're wearing pink. Let me tell you, I know a great number of males who have more feminine energy, but their fashion sense is kick ass. You know, I have no, I mean, I have some fashion sense, but I'm more, I'm a female, but I'm more masculine. I'm more masculine, so I'm like a t-shirt and jean person. You know, I'm just, you know, I don't like to fuss with all that. But I like certain things, like retro stuff, like, you know, hippie 60s. So sometimes I can get in my mood and I'll, I'll dress up or do something but some men let me tell you they know their fashion uh, and if you're out there and you do that kudos to you four of cups Pisces another four so this okay I'm just gonna tell you right off Pisces oh damn it I had a rough one with Taurus I don't want to have a rough one with you but I'm not gonna sugarcoat and I know we water signs I'm a cancer I know we can be a little sensitive bear with me here Pisces I'm not trying to be mean and maybe this will get better. We'll see. You're being, um, well, first of all, you're, you're in a, a, a energy, uh, you're in a low vibe energy. I'm just going to say that. A low vibe energy, whatever it may be. And you're just feeling kind of down on your situation, on your life, on you, maybe one or all three. And the Four of Pentacles is holding on to something that in this case with this these two cards together i think you're holding on to something that is emotionally affecting you okay and we need to work through that and get you to a place where ah wheel of fortunes under that so we need to get you to a place where you can work through it and move forward and this wheel of fortune card perfect for being underneath here I'll bring it closer. This is a turning point for you, Pisces. So although you may be feeling this right now, sad, depressed, feeling just sort of blessed, just things just don't seem quite right, but you're holding on to something. Or maybe you're just holding on to that energy. You know, maybe 
whatever it is is past and you're you're holding on to this low vibe energy let's get you out of there get to a higher vibe energy okay so this is a turning point so there's going to be something that comes up in your life and this card i always say over and over you can't win if you don't spin so spin that wheel you don't win every time there's no guarantee but you know for sure you're not going to win if you don't try and spin so maybe you try and get come get out of your little mood <laughs> out of take it out of your room maybe you've been isolating and oh dear my card stick into my elbow and maybe let's get you to a point where because this is a turning point in your life we're going to get you out of that i'm a cancer i go into my shell i understand get you out of that and out of that mood okay well let's see now this is your current self page of swords interesting for being a water sign and having page of swords as you uncovered some something about someone or some situation and it's not a love card but for some reason i feel like it's a love situation and you did it's like you were kind of spying on somebody you were just checking on their their facebook instagram TikTok, whatever people do these days i don't know and snapchat i don't even know if you have i don't know i don't do all of it i do instagram and i do uh youtube and facebook and i'm thinking about TikTok, so i may start a TikTok channel too so uh, and maybe Patreon along along the line, but TikTok. So if you're into that, look for me someday on there, uh, Pisces. But Page of Swords, you found out some sort of information, and you dug a little deeper, and you weren't happy with you found what you found. It's it's created a cloud, a dark cloud over your reality. So I think you're still spying on them and, or the situation, whatever the situation may be. But let's move on and see if we can see what this is for the theme for your month. Well, there you are, Cancer. This is a Cancer card, Queen of Cups. So I'm hearing you found something out. Oh, I'm sorry, Pisces. I don't know why I said Cancer. I'm really sorry. Um, I guess I need more coffee. I'm really, really sorry there, Pisces. Um, I think I was thinking about doing a cancer reading, and uh, that's probably why before this. Um, this is the cancer card, though, Pisces. I really apologize, Pisces. Uh, but it's a very emotional card, and there's something or someone that meant a lot to you. But what I heard specifically for you, Pisces, is, and you may still be spying on this person or, or digging for more information, it's, it's take, take, blah, 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 blah. nurture and take care of yourself right now. That's the theme for the next 30 days. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Focus more on yourself and what will make you happy. Apparently what you found out or whatever this is, I'm hearing, did not make you happy. If it's not that, it could be finding out ways, getting more information or some self-help in order to help yourself get through this. Get past this mood maybe some self-help books or self-help videos maybe on youtube you know maybe some tarot card readers <laughs> ace of pentacles this is your key goal is to focus on um grounding yourself stabilizing your life and your energy in a way that there's that so with the four of pentacles under here the universe is saying pisces if you don't let go of these four pentacles, how am I ever going to hand you this pentacle? Your hands, you've got one balanced on your head, you're holding on to two, and you're standing on two. You're not moving forward. I can't help you if you don't, you know, work with me and move forward. I'm offering you something here, whether it's new love or a new part of your life. Pentacles can be about your health. Pentacles can be about a job, but it doesn't have to be. But whatever it is, it's going to stabilize your life. And it's going to make you feel more secure. That's the whole point in the pentacles. And, and that's good for your health when you feel better about yourself. Your health is good. You're going to feel better. Because that's your mental health. The four of cups over there, that's your mental health. So you, the universe is saying, I'm just handing you this portal. you got to let it go, whatever it was. We need to work through this. You have a little bit of a way to go, but there's a portal here. And again, on that other side, there's something you're going to be very surprised what's on the other side you'd be very surprised what's on the other side now um the obstacle you may have oh you're caught in the past Pisces something from your past and I'm hearing specifically past love 
Somebody may have walked away from you. Maybe they ghosted you. If it's not love, it's like childhood memories. Maybe you're missing somebody. And with this, maybe you miss somebody and you're trying to, you don't know where they are, and you're trying to get the information to track them down. It doesn't have to be love. Maybe it's just an old friend or somebody who you used to like to talk to. Let's move on and see. Um, so these are the actions you can take. Well, we got the Five of Cups. But here's what I'm hearing, Pisces. With the Five of Cups, this particular person is focusing on the spilled, as they say, crying over spilled milk. Three Cups that, yes, was, was disappointing, maybe even devastating to this person. Um, if you're familiar with the Three of Swords, there's a heart with three. That's what I'm feeling here. There's three. But with this particular card, is they're not realizing that if they just turn around, if they stop focusing on those three empty cups and turn around and, and let that go and, and let that be the past. This is the past. This is your future. Let's turn around and look at what you could have. You have two full cups here that the universe has left there for you. You're just, you're, nose, you're not noticing it because you're looking at these. So this is a healing card, in my opinion, that the five of cups is there's a disappointment but, and it's emotionally draining, it's emotionally affected you very deeply, but especially as a water sign, as a Pisces, but you have two cups. Now, whether that's a partnership, another person, if this is love, or just a part of you that maybe you need to work on, masculine and feminine side, or work on your more emotional side, okay? So, here we go now. We're going to go with the relationship card here. This is love and relationships. So, this could be family and friends as well. Okay, well, that kind of confirms it. Somebody hurt you, Pisces, and they hurt you bad. You were very loyal to them, and they stabbed you in the back more than once, I'm hearing. I'm hearing you gave them more than one chance, and they stabbed you in the back. The tens, though, Pisces, that's the completion. That's the end of that. It's over now. It's time to find your truth. It's stormy right now, but believe me, the Page of Swords is not going to let that stop him. He's got that sword, and he's going to whip through whatever, cut out and whip through whatever gets in front of him. I will find out the information. I'll find out my truth. This apparently was not my truth. So when you come to that realization, that Wheel of Fortune, that's going to catapult things forward. Okay? Now here's personal growth. Okay. All right. You've got the Two of Pentacles. You're kind of going back and forth on your decisions. It's a little wishy-washy, I will admit, up and down, up and down. So this card is saying that although it's okay to take time to make decisions, it may be time for you to take that next step, move forward to a, the new life that's coming. Not the past, not those three empty cups that are spilled. Now we're going to focus on those two cups. We're going to focus on something that's going to make you feel good. Just take some more, Pisces. It may not be pleasant going through some of it, but we're going to do that. So you decide which path you want to go on. You decide the path. Which way do you want. You decide. It's all about you decide. Which one do you want to do? Do you want to stay in that low vibe energy? The universe is saying you go right ahead. But the world's going to keep turning and things are going to pass by. And, and um, you know, that potential love, that potential job that you could have had are... Pass, could pass you by and that's because you chose to stay in the low vibration off to yourself and whatever emotional state of mind you're in now or whatever um, and yes that's a little bit harsh but the universe is saying or or you can choose you see how this in my opinion see how this pentacle has a darker star in it that one's kind of faded out it's like this is okay you can stay in that faded stay in the background in the dark stay you know faded out and not part of whatever but this pentacle can bring you much more than that one and you're looking at it going hmm okay the universe is saying woohoo right here all right Pisces come on now we can do this now if you are dealing with career and or health and that includes mental health the world is yours again a choice you have two here a choice two of pentacles something that will enrich your life I'm hearing make a choice that will enrich your life Make a choice that you're passionate, that makes you feel passionate about life. Choose a path. 
Choose a path, Pisces. Okay. And advice from the universe and spirit and your higher guides. King of Swords, you're going to have to get really honest with yourself. Because the King of Swords does not deal with emotions. Uh, it's not that he doesn't feel any emotions, but he, masculine energy people, uh, does not make decisions based on that. And regardless if something bothers him in his heart or his soul or he, he hates to have to do something, he's going to do it because he knows it's for the better of him and his life. He and his kingdom. Okay? He's very forthright. He's, he's diplomatic. So um, just sit yourself down, Pisces, and say, okay, Pisces, this is what it is. This, this is the situation. And either you can stay in your low vibration and wallow, and you can have that pity party all you want. And believe me, I've been there. I've been there even recently. So I'm not judging because I have them too. And then I have to tell myself, you know, with this thing, I was going through a thing, moving here and what have you, I'm not going to get into it. But I was like, you know what, I don't even feel like doing the channel. And then I finally said, you know, get your ass up. I love doing this. This is what I love. And it does. It makes me feel better. I feel better about myself. I feel a little bit better about my life. It's a little rough right now. But um, but I'm just saying, everybody goes through it. So it's not just you, Pisces. Maybe find people, you know, either here or, you know, amongst your friends. And, and maybe they could, they could probably relate too. Um, but the King of Swords is saying the advice is to be brutally honest with yourself and come to an honest decision. Push your emotions aside for the time being. You know, it's, it's not, the king isn't saying, don't deal with them at all. Deal with them, acknowledge them, and move on, and holy crap, there's the queen of swords. I mean, you can't be any more blunt than that. The queen of swords is saying, you're going to have to be blunt with yourself, because she's bitchy, she's blunt. She doesn't care if she hurts anyone's feelings. The king's a little more diplomatic. He'll try to be a little bit nicer about it. The queen, nah. So, Pisces. And let me tell you, um, I just did Aquarius, and Aquarius had the same thing. Similar, not quite the exact same thing, but had the Queen of Swords in the obstacle, and the Devil came down. And let me tell you, it's kind of the same same thing. So let's see, page. Of, I'm gonna do Page of Swords. Oh, there we go. Page of Swords. Oh, strength. Well, this is Leo card. I like this though, because find that strength within, Pisces. Find that strength within. You know you can do this. Ah! I just had a pain in my left side. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, while I'm doing this, I'm dying on the table. Um, <laughs> uh, so anyways, uh, you, uh, you have the strength to do this. I'm hearing specifically, Pisces, whenever a situation occurs or when you... <laughs> I, this isn't funny, but it's just kind of funny that I'm hearing this. Whenever you feel bad, or whenever there's a moment when you're thinking, I can't do this, or you're feeling really low vibration, low, just thinking, and I know you're not a Leo, maybe you have a fire in your chart, maybe you have Aries, uh, Leo, Aries, maybe you have Aries in your chart too, but Leo in your chart. Um, and if you don't know, check it up on, online, free birth chart. It'll, it'll give it to you free. Um, if I knew how to put links below, I would just put it down below, but I don't remember how to do that. I used to do it on my phone. This is a laptop. I have no idea. I'll figure it out someday. Um, it's, it's saying that I am the lion. I can do this. I have strength. I am the lion. I can do this. I have strength. Now, I know Pisces are the fish, and they, they swim, and they just kind of go with the flow. But this is a time in your life, Pisces, that you need to get a little aggressive with things. Be a little bold in your life and take it step by step. Go push yourself. Baby steps. All right? Let's do the Five of Cups. What are we disappointed about? What has happened here with the Five of Cups for um, the actions? What is it you can tell us further, Spirit, for Pisces and their actions? In these readings, I try not to offend, but I also want the message out because to me, what I like doing about these readings is uh, self-help. Because if you get into self-help and readings like that or, or help people that way, that helps them in every area of their life, even without them realizing it. But this is interesting because it's sideways. It's not in reverse. Now, the Three of Pentacles is mastering yourself and working on yourself in a way that you're mastering yourself, and, and this is building that strong foundation. It came out sideways, though. So what I'm hearing here, Pisces, it's not in reverse, so you're not resisting it. Maybe you've already looked into some self-help stuff, or you're changing things in your life. Maybe you've already started that process. And if so, that's good. That's a good thing. 
But then this comes this comes up. You know, you can't help but think about that. Understandable. You know, if it's something that's disappointing or emotionally. So what your obs your action is to get this upright. It's start time to start thinking about what you can change in your life, making a new blueprint for your life, changing your life in a way that the areas that bother you the most or aren't working, and again, be very honest, really honest with yourself, and reconstruct something that you can start working on moving forward. It's, you know, this is, they're just making plans here. It's not like they're actually starting the building in this particular card. In the right of weight, they're already building. The foundation's already. But this one, they're planning. And you may need help. Now, this may be your higher guides and masters and your guardian angels or whomever you believe in. But these could be other people. It could be friends, family, co-workers, whatever the case may be. All right. Let's see the bottom of the deck. It's going to be a long one. Two of swords. You're not wanting to make some sort of decision here. Um, I'm going to say Aries again. I don't know why Aries. Are you dealing with an Aries? <laughs> Did you deal with an Aries? Pisces. Um, yeah, you're just not wanting to see something. You're in denial or you're not wanting to make a decision. And what this is suggesting is sit down by yourself with no distractions at all. No TV, no phone. Take every, Turn your phone off, turn the TV off, anything. Sit there and really think about, really contemplate and think about your life. And what does your gut tell you? What does your intuition tell you? That's what you need to think about. All right, we're going to do the Ten of Swords, and then maybe the King of Swords, just to give you a little further advice. I try not to make these terribly long. I think it said we're at 20 minutes. I will be doing a moon reading, so if you're not subscribed, you may subscribe and join the tribe. And hit the bell icon button if you would like, um, so you can get notified when I upload videos, because that in the... Then the full moon is a very emotional time, and it helps guide. It can help guide us, myself included, through our, some of our rough times. Seven of Swords here. <sighs> Pisces. Well, I'm hearing two things here. Someone may have lied to you. And I'm very much into the numerology in the deck. The ten to the seven is the seven of swords. Ten to the seven is three, which is the heart. If you're not familiar with it, it's the, again, the heart with the swords through it. As I mentioned earlier, heartbreak. Something has broken your heart. First, at first I heard one thing. I'm going to tell you what I heard second. Secondly, I heard <clears throat> that somebody may have lied to you and that broke your heart because you thought they were some sort of different person than they actually were. Or you're not willing to let go of something, maybe this person or situation, and you're prolonging your pain by not letting go. And so you're, it's heartbreak, but you're just, it's the pain it's never ending because there's something you need to let go of. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, I'm going to say right here, right now. And this is the love section, so it could very well be a person who broke your heart. <clears throat> the Eight of Pentacles, I'm going to say work on your emotional healing because this is the relationship. If it's someone from your past, maybe you need to let that person go from your past. Maybe you tried to contact them and they didn't respond or... Whatever the case may be, Pisces, again, take it as it resonates. We're going to do the King of Swords while I'm saying this. Take it as it resonates because you're going to know in your life if there's something. Well, that's just. I'm going to take this one too because it popped and went back in. Sort of. Not quite. Now, this is your advice. Remember King of Swords. Be brutally honest with yourself. We're going to cut something out of, out of our life. We're going to be very truthful. And we're going to be more cerebral with our decision and not focusing so much. Even though I said about the intuition wherever it went, the intuition card, the two of pentacles, I mean the two of swords, you can take some time to come to a conclusion of intuitively what is best for you. But then when it comes time to make the decision, don't let those emotions bubble up and affect your decision in a way that's going to overpower you and then you can't make a decision. Now, this is the four of wands. <clears throat> I'm just going to point out here, this is a twin flame card. This is a twin flame card. If you're dealing with a twin flame, if it's something that happened with a twin flame, you have to remember that everything with a twin flame, which it's hard as I, my twin flame, everything is in divine timing. We cannot, it, it, it happens the way it happens. And maybe that's what the Wheel of Fortune card was over there. Um, you know, that could be what that is. All in due, all in due time, it's, it's you know. Anyways, um, 
Oh, I thought the I thought the camera went off for some reason. It was weird. Four of Wands is the ultimate happiness. Now there is a couple there. So this can be wedding. This can be an engagement. I mean, unless you were engaged to somebody or you're married and it, you found out they're cheating or whatever. Um, but I have a feeling that once you cut out something and let something go, that you're that's a path to is is this so whatever's happened now is everything's in alignment this is divinely divine intervention in a way this is happening for a real for a reason pisces do you see this you cut something out it's not worth keeping it whatever it is if it's somebody that you're thinking about their loss i'm going to say it's their loss whatever the reason may be if they did cheat if they did whatever they did you wrong you don't need them it's their loss Pisces are beautiful souls. They feel deep, you know, and the sun card is all going to work out. That's a Leo card, too. So maybe you're going to meet a Leo or you're dealing with a Leo. But with the happiness card here, I don't think so. I think you you may meet a Leo in the future. See then on the bottom of that, there's the three of swords. We're going to cut out. Okay. You're going to take a time out. You get a time out, Pisces. It's a time out. Think about your life. Think about what you can cut out. This is seeing things from a new perspective, right? You're not seeing things like you normally would look at them. All right? You got to get tough with yourself. Three of Swords is basically saying that although you're going through heartbreak, this is the mourning period. This is the mourning period for you, Pisces. And it's time to heal. Heal your heart. Heal your heart. Step by step. No one's rushing you. Step by step. And then you can move on to the Four of Wands and the Sun better times happier times you're going to be illuminated you're going to feel so much better and and it's going to be a whole new you hi Jesus, that's what i have for you thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful if it was again please thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up smash that like button and uh, do subscribe and join the tribe if you haven't already i would love to have you along and we're going to do some great things here so i would love to have you as a part of that and you, there may be some messages in there specifically for you pisces so i want to say i love you all and i'm glad you were here and i will see you in the next one pisces well maybe they want you to stick around here pisces <laughs>